morning. <clears throat> Wake up, time to rise and shine. It's Sabado, Sabado Gigantes. We're heading to, uh, I gotta get the oil changed on the vehicular abstract. It's well overdue, I believe. I'm gonna head to Ocala, to Ears. <clears throat> I'm a little nervous because it's not like a regular zoo. You, I guess it's pretty uh, open, so you just gotta be careful. So, and watch your kids very closely. So, other than that, <clears throat> as you can tell, my voice is leaving me. But, uh, oh, Shark got my logo done, which is awesome. Um, check it out. I think it's down there. Or maybe, I'm trying to remember, maybe it's right uh, up here. I think it's both places, up here and down there. Go look at it. He's doing the background now for my page, so I can have a... He does some nice work, man. Go to go to Shark Network TV. Go to his uh, his channel page. And just <clears throat> go down and look at all. He's got, like, a bunch of channels. And just look at each channel individually. And just look at the artwork and stuff, man. He just does a good job, man. He, uh, he spends so much time on it. People would appreciate it the time that he spends, and he's trying to help other people too, but I mean, he just uh, doesn't get much sleep, <clears throat> but uh, he's hell-bent on uh, internet domination, so um, that's good. Yeah, so check out his stuff, um, and let me know what you think. Alright, I'll get some footage from today, this will be the intro to that. So enjoy the cats. We're getting close. <clears throat> the kids are getting pretty anxious. You guys ready to be there? Yeah. Yeah. And I can't talk anymore. What would I do if I couldn't talk anymore? I'd have to give up my channel. Bring in the cats. So amazing. There's a lion in the woods. In Florida. Mm. Hey, buddy. What you doing? What are you doing? I want to play Posing for you. He's posing for you. Is he videotaping me? Is he videotaping me on YouTube? Do I get to be on YouTube? Hi. Are you somebody's pet? Look at how big that sucker is. Wow, I didn't realize how huge they were. Guys, back. And it's a sad story. They're very, very old or sick or something's wrong with them or they're babies. We always take them. These two here were babies when they came in. And they came from a guy who was a breeder. Y'all know what that means? No. That's mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later. People are here to see you. Get up here. This guy's name is Rick James. Rick James. Yeah. He is a name. Rick James is a living dog. He's fixed. I mean, you can ask your mom and dad what that means, too. <laughs> it means he was broken. Now he's not anymore. That's right. He's fixed so that we won't have babies. We don't, this is not a facility where we make babies. We don't buy, right. sell, no. trade animals in any way. They come here to live out their lives. They know these people and that's it. He Mia. with his sister. Mia. My name is Fancy Fran. He does have another sister. Okay. Her name is Kelly. Hey, She's over here. You'll see her, too. We did have a, a lion that passed away uh, three weeks ago. And uh, so you'll see it's great, but when they die, we bury them. We do not cremate because it costs money. Every dime here counts. Um, they don't live like this. They'll get to go out of the big giant turn out behind in just a little while. What's out there right now is a lion, and we'll have to walk around and see him. Yeah, he's way down there asleep. I can see him. So when he comes in to eat, we'll let these two out. It's half and half. 
the entire place is like that. They switch off. Now these guys will sleep 85% of the time. That means nearly all of the time. Hey, move back from the cage, buddy. Oh, look how pretty. Riley. It's the third largest land tortoise in the world. This is an African spur or or sulcata. He's 125 pounds and he's 150 years old. Oh, my. they're eating chicken and red meat, right, Daddy? Yeah. Oh, look at chicken that. Red meat. Okay, I'm going to tell you about every single one of these. Let's start over here. Normally, we start over here. That white tiger there with the black stripes, uh, he came from a, a breeder because he was 666. And um, he was going to die. So he called and asked if we would take him. His name is Dante. He was named after Dante called Pepper. Really? <laughs> yeah. And he is really, really, really a sweet boy, but he has a low immune system. That means he gets sick real, real easy. And so we are very careful with him. He's almost always on cephalexin. He's an antibiotic. How old is he? Uh, he's been here uh, seven years, and he's probably eight. From Tiggeroo? Tigger. Tigger. That's the name. That's the original Tiggeroo. Not. Tiggeroo is a tiger. There's a yeah, it is. She came to us from a, an Orthodox Jewish rabbi who passed away, and the widow didn't want to own, and it was a legal ownership. The rabbi had a... Rabbi Mark Zanman was his name. <laughs> but he that passed one, away, and that, that the widow didn't want to own the tiger. She found a home for it right here. That's crazy. That one is a real nice girl. That one right here. Guys, stay back. Don't You, go, you don't go where she goes. Another tiger until recently. Uh, she's been here about a year. Yeah, and so like she had some culture shock going on whenever she thing. came here. This one right here is uh, Kelly, and she's the sister to Rick James and Fancy Fan. Remember the ones we saw over there? Not the sisters. Two girls started arguing a little bit too much. Uh, they were fighting terribly. <laughs> so uh, we separated her. So she has to live here now. She does get to go out in the big giant turnout alone. She uh, has social issues. You know what that means? She can't get along very well. <laughs> you remember, she has arguments with other tigers all the time. What, Kelly Preston? Are these the new people? Are those people who These are the ones that were late running? Kelly Preston. That's Kelly Preston. You can read very well, thank you. Okay, in uh, the next enclosure What's the name? over there is... McGraw, he's the one on the on the bench there on the table. Is this the new the people that were late on here? That's the mom. The dad's yep. already here. Oh. That dog's pretty tough behind the fence. Yeah, they're in the mud, but that's what boys like to be. That one right there is McGraw, and he came to us from a. A woman, a crazy woman, that had him living in her condominium in Orlando, living free in the condominium. It was disgusting. And I <laughs> These dogs are pretty tough on this side of the fence. Wonder what would happen here. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, this is here. It's here because she has bad hey, hips. Uh, oh, okay. She has hip dysplasia. The children are here. Riley. This one right here? Yeah. Riley. Yeah. Come here. Mia and Alex, come here. Come on. Okay, this tiger is here. It's a girl tiger, and she's here because she has hip problems. So you can see she walks kind of funny, and they were going to put That's a cool tiger over there. That was somebody's pet? That... No. No, okay. No. Oh. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? It's amazing they love. Angie, does uh, Davion not know to, about this one? Can I go with Kyle? It was turned off, and when I go to wash the, the cage on the porch, it won't work. So I just, I did it right just now. Okay, that, her name is Susu, and she's just a wonderful tiger, but they were going to go ahead and put her to sleep. 
Do y'all know what go, putting to sleep means? What does it mean? Going to bed. Mm -hmm. Putting them to bed. Putting them. <laughs> no, permanently. Giving them, giving them a shot to make them die. Dirt nap. A permanent snap. Yeah, yeah. To put to sleep. And the and the, and animal talk. When you're talking about animals, means to go ahead and give them a shot to make them die. And uh, we don't do that here. So when we hear that they're going to do that to a big cat, we offer to take them. Careful. The alternative. To her coming here, alternative means the only other thing to do was to um, put her to sleep for good. And so we took her. Okay, the next one over there is uh, the filthiest tiger in the world. I think <laughs> Mia's going to like him. <laughs> um, you can see that his turnout pin looks like a bomb went off over there. Can you tell that? <laughs> uh, That's just my kind of tiger. He just needed a home. He needed Riley. A home. Hey. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, why don't I, why am I talking? On this side of the fence, she? Yeah, she's tough over here. <laughs> yeah, she's real tough on this side. No, that's just dumb. There are more dogs that live here. There are 30, as a matter of fact, that have found a home here. Oh, wow. That's awesome. But um, uh, these are the only ones that I'm going to run free right now. Those two over there. Come here. Come here. Move back, Alex. And I want you to know these tigers white with blue, blue eyes. Oh, wow. But she's filthy. You. You got, you got He's talking to her. That's all we have today. Same. Pet me. Come here. I want something better. Steak. Wow. He was supposed to be going Mia, to. Uh, Mia. I'm not. I'm watching. He was supposed to be going to Las Vegas to be in a um, an act. Oh really? And on display. But he was born with stripes on his tail, so they turned him down Aww, and tried to find guy. him. Poor wow. guy. But take a look at how he is. I mean, it's, it's awful. We spend half of our time taking care of him because he's no. just, he's just trouble. His face is, is so and That's cute. dirt. Stay right here. You got to stay here. And he'll come back around and do Yeah, he's a little bit dangerous. Clint, you back over here now. And his name is Sultan. Riley, Sultan. Come over here, please. His name is Sultan. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Pig pen. <laughs> a lot of people call him pig pen. <laughs> Maybe he's angry that he got cut from the big show. <laughs> well, he's he acting be out. happy because uh, if you look, if you observe closely, he's not fixed. Yeah, uh, yeah, I see that. No reason to fix him because he uh, doesn't live with the girl. Yeah. If we decide to ever pair him with this <laughs> over here, he'll have to get the snip snip. Do they get less or more aggressive if they're neutered or no, less? No, that's not what manhood. Yeah, <laughs> I know what that feels like. <laughs> it goes together. That's why you're so sweet now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so sensitive. I used to be 6'8", 350. <laughs> we, uh, we empty this tub here. You just pull that little white plug. We empty that tub every third day. Wow. Do you have any wow. water? I don't know why. No. No. Yeah, you might as well not. He doesn't okay, like it, Queen. Mia, don't come back. How's that sound? you're a little too close for my comfort. <laughs> He's fully clawed too. Oh now, really? Some of them come with no claws. Oh smiling. really? They have them removed before they come. Teeth. Teeth. That's, a, <laughs> that's a good idea. Fully teeth too. So when they go out the shows, do they take out the claws when they do the shows no. in Vegas? <laughs> really? And I'm not gonna uh, name it because we did sign an agreement that we won't say the name of it. Oh, it's like a place where people go to see him. No, they were used for entertainment, uh, commercial work, oh. and movies. And stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you can have animals that you rent out. Uh, as a matter of fact, all of the animals that you see in movies are rented. Hmm. Normally, they send uh, a handler, you know, with the animals mm. and the animal stuff. And so that's what they were used for, movie work and commercial. Look at my head, dude.